This is the Ackle Sound. Coming up is a conversation with Ackle native John Twin McNamara, a teacher, historian, and a key player in the resurrection of the now world famous music school, Skull Akla. The breadth of his knowledge of history, folklore, and song is unsurpassed by any living person on Ackle Island. Part 1 The Eagle. The place names of Ackle. Oscar Oscar Right. Gobbochara, you you know, you you Gobbochara is the name of the place of the sound, but I, the sound, the sound, and all that kind of stuff. But Gobbochara, a beautiful name. But what is it originally? Gobbochara means the point of the current. The point of the current. Where the tu- the current comes around, like you know, the tide turns like that. Mm. And there's a, a gob there, but but probably around the bridge, you know, that there'd be a gob there. That yeah. You see, you know, the tide, the way the tide turns. Well, I know it as the side, the meeting of the yeah. two waters. All yeah, right, that's right. Yeah. Well, gob So the mouth the, of the, the current. The point. The point. Gob is a gob. A gob is a point. But the gob so is the the gob is the mouth. That's it. Well, it's the same so thing. Gob. <laughs> yeah. And then you go down to Bela Woolline. Mm. Paul's mouth, you know, these are place names. So anyway, I don't want to get diverted from where we are now. It's all interesting. And yeah. I also was asking of the origin of Akla and, and Akel. Akel, yeah. Was it from the hawk? No. No. Well, go on, tell me. Well, I, I was informed recently I asked that because, you know, I was asked what Akel originally meant and I said, Oof, I don't know. So I asked and then I was told that it was to do with the, sorry, the eagle. On the, cri- on, the cl- on the cliffs of Crohan. Aquila. Aquila. Yeah, but I don't think that's right. No. I think that's just, you people say that, but it's, it's, Aquil. 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 There were two woods in Aquil. Big wood in the bottom part of the island and another one in the top part. Is the one in Aquil. the top part Pikes? Yeah, well, everywhere up there, all, was all, all of that was all trees. Before we ruined it. Two woods. There'd be two woods, you know. Oh. So the two woods would be the, I think, would be the most authentic. Ochel. Right. Ochel. Ro. Do, meaning two. O. Ro. Chel. Two woods. Two woods. Now Not the, the hawk. Now the aquila. Aquila is the, is the eagle. Yeah. A great, it's a it's a great thing that we should uh, you know that should, we should be aware of the the presence of the eagle in Ackle. Because nobody is. Huh? nobody is. No, no, we're not. But it was the last place in Ireland uh, that it was. Mm. The the hawk was the the, uh, the the eagle. It was uh, it was very very prominent in, in Ackle. Wow, and a lot of the place names. In fact, I did a, I put a verse. Uh, the golden eagle. I mean, that is a great image. You know, the the golden eagle. Mm. Um, there's a tune called the eagle's whistle. Did you ever come across that? Yeah. No. And I remember we'd be doing that one, the eagle's whistle, and he used to do the da 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 da. da. <laughs> That's the way the tune goes. Oh. Oh, this is the tune. Lovely tune, incidentally. So, um, the eagle's whistle. Oh. There's a great, there's a great, oh, I have a poem there, have it, a, a lady. You see, there's lots of things have been happening in Ackle that uh, no notice is taken of them, and they're, they're, they're very, very strong statements, you know. Yeah. People, like the writer's workshop, for instance, that's in during Skull Ackle. That's yeah. gone on since 1960. The, no, 1987. That was the first writer's workshop, uh, John Dean, you know, mm. and then followed on from that. And the people were writing. The, the idea was that if somebody is writing about Ackle, they'll write about Keel or the Cliffs of Minna or Ackle Sound Bridge or whatever else. And then they write, if they publish that, it's in a poem, and that poem might be published in Derry. Mm. 
So it's spreading the the word of the action. wings. The, the wings. The wings. <laughs> it is. It is. But not the eagle. The two woods. It is. I find that interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Just just that we have been out. We have we come on the. That's a, it's an interesting subject. Mm. Like the origin and the eagle. When was the last known sighting of an eagle in Ackle? Well, that's that would be to put a date on it. That would be difficult enough. Roughly. Yeah. Are we talking in, uh, in the I hundreds th- of years? Oh no. Oh, not at all. Talking in the in 10s, the last, 20s. In the last century. In the last century. Just in, yeah, it would be in the, you know, the, the 18s, 1880s or that type of time. Wow. And um, the eagle was a very unpopular bait in Acton mm. because they killed lambs. They would swoop on lambs. And uh, oh, there's a lot of talking, you know, they were known as the eagle. Oh, the eagle, you know, the eagle. <laughs> they wouldn't say only the eagle, but the eagle. And they couldn't, the people, you know, and of course everybody kept hens at that time. Mm. Yeah, every person, every household had hens. And they couldn't keep a black hen. Because the eagle would, he would target the black hen from a hen from a height. Nice. You see, when, uh, when he swooped, when he went to come down, whatever he put his, whatever he, when he made up his mind, bang! So the black hen was he, the black hen was his target. He came far on, yeah. on hen too. Mar vi vi she na ne e kol gheseler. Vi she ye si da mar shein brown or any other color, but the black stood out. See vi she vi she from a height. Vi she seller e e Yeah. And go san shein. Black hen, yeah. Well, it's all on screen for which there's a lot of uh, this whole folklore, you know, mm. about, uh, about the eagle and the hen and so on. But the, the other important thing about it is places called, you know, the well, there's a lot of great history about it. There was, uh, if you're ever down in that little, uh, uh, the little restaurant, you know, Paul Mack is there in Dugart. Have you ever been? Oh, the there? cottage, yeah. The cottage, yeah. When there's a painting there on that, you know. This a fellow called Cyril Gray. Yeah. He was one of these greys, you know, his, his I know, at the hall of Indigars, yeah. Yes, that's that's the guy. Yeah. So Cyril uh, Cyril used to, you know, draw he did a bit of drawing, you know, his own kind of thingish pictures. But uh, places there's folklore that a child was t- was carried by a needle from a field in the river. You see, the, the, they are powerful babies that be, people would be working in the field, you know, and that the, the baby was carried up to the back of Slimore Hill, you know, when you, from that side, you know, at the back the of it, way up where the cliff is, up there. And that the people, they, they went down the cliff, but the baby was dead. It's, it's a piece of folklore, I don't know mm. how, how real it is. But there, there's lots of stuff like that about the eel. And the folklore um, is important to keep alive as well. Oh, it is, you know? it is, yeah. And then, mm. of course, the place names. Um, I just put, I put a line uh, in a song there the other day. Uh, an Ohia. Are you recording me? You are? I am at the minute. Because I like all right. Well, I, that's okay. Yeah. I don't care. I don't mind. Ohia is a cove. Ohia. Ohia. Yeah. It's a cove. Or Oheen is a little cove, so there are lots of little coves around Ackle, and even on, on Clare Island, Ohia War, the big cove, you know, mm. Ohia War. So that's part of the language. But uh, there's, there was this place out of the back here, out uh, this this side is Limore Hill, Oheen, Nyad Anyiller. The cove of the eagle's nest. See, where the, the eagle would find a place that would be way sheltered and uh, not easily accessible. Do you see? Mm. Oh, he nyad on, oh, he nyad on iller. Right? It's like there's a place out there called Fia Hassan, which is the deer's path. And there's a place called Lame Nostalgia which is the stag's leap, 
the stag's leap. So that's when there were deer. The Anglo was full of red deer at one stage. Mm. It's not so ma- It's not so long since the last deer was was supposed to be slain or speared over uh, down at Dukinella, down at Corbon, down that area. Right. So the, the and they were spotted there. in the last years, though. Oh, they have been coming yeah, back there. which is great. Have you seen any? I have haven't, been? but I've no. heard of the sightings. Yeah, I've heard they have been. Yeah. Yeah. And they have been in as far in as, far as the week. Yeah. Going yeah, exactly. That's what I heard. And, and maybe they sw- swam across from Ballycroy or something. Yes, oh yeah. yeah, it would be across that, or even come across the bridge, or... Well, come, come, do, yeah, they'd be well spotted on the guard the cameras. And <laughs> well, no. <laughs> but they came across somehow. Oh, they have been yeah, across. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard plenty of references. To the yeah, I'd love to, to see them to the deer, soar yeah. again now. Yeah, it would, yeah. Yeah, and the sightings uh, seem as rare as the actual monster in the lake, though. Yes. <laughs> I, they're well, up that's, there. That's well, I know true. the deer are more plausible, but... That's true. Yeah. But but the but the eagle the eagle I thought I thought uh, you see they've reintroduced them to the Yes. Uh, they're trying to introduce them there, and they will if if they do they'll spread. But of course they're hated by their some of them are shot and there's some of them That's there's terrible. There's a white uh, white breasted eagle in Kerry and uh, people shoot them and stuff like that. And of course they were game. Yeah, in Acton, when visitors were coming shooting the eagle, was a big, it was a big thing to shoot the eagle, like you know, gaming and all that. You can see, I've seen pictures of, of that and shooting deer, shooting uh, seals. Seals. They used to shoot seals, or seals were very common out of the back of the moor hills. Mm. Seal caves. There. Seal caves. Yeah. yeah, stuff like that. Um, For fun. The eagle. Funny, funny story I heard about the eagle. Uh, this is going back a bit now, but this man was telling me about when they were building the road into the lake there, for the waterworks. Going to a bit the road to, in order to build a, the dam at the lake for the water. Have you ever been? You have been in that lake, of course. Mm-hmm. That that road up the lake. Yeah. Well, on the way in, just past where the waterworks is. Uh, there were little bogs there, and this man said to me, he said, oh, they're building the road in past, past uh, Mona Hamilton. Mm. And I said, who was, who was Hamilton? And he said, I have no idea. But he must have been some man that had little boggings there, mm. little bogs. Mona Hamilton. There, that's this this area was known as Mona Hamilton. So it, it didn't take. I didn't find out anything about. It. And then I started reading a book called uh, Caesar Otway Rambles in Connacht, and he describes climbing to the top. He with a group of people climbing to the top of Crohan and spotting a golden eagle and descending to the valley of Kim, where they entered the house of the coast guard and he had a turf fire on mm. and his name was Hamilton yeah. so Hamilton had to come that far from Kim to get turf and that's what it was and that was the connection you know mm. so it was an interesting the two things like Caesar Otway was the was the writer he was a reverend you know, one of these were well, lots these writers at that time. So the eagle is a. I think I think the image of the eagle is very would be very important for Ike. You know, in fact, I thought when in in the at the millennium, at two thousand, that it would have been a good thing to to introduce an eagle. Mm. Of course, you'd you'd want to you'd have. Sheep farmers that have to be convinced and all that kind of stuff, but but uh, you know, if, if, I mean, if you if you even had a few eagles and uh, and fed them just carcasses and stuff yeah. like that, yeah, uh, keep them happy. Did you keep them happy? Yeah. you know, I think it'd be great. I'd love to see it. I'd absolutely love to yeah. see it, especially when we have such a long run in history with them that yeah, the history, people aren't yeah. aware of. And I suppose to myself, I'm not awfully aware of it either. Only. Yeah. When I talk to somebody like yourself, yes. and it's good to talk about these things because otherwise, Ackle gets just 
the, the history gets lost so easy. Oh, it does, yes, yeah. yeah. Well, just when you're at it, though.